I am excited to announce that the U.S. government has committed $3.3 million to a new era of the Kennedy and Boya partnerships. <laughs> Supporting 60 young and promising Kenyans to study at top U.S. universities for one semester. That is 60 students to commemorate the 60 years of partnership that have transpired between the United States and Kenya since the original Kennedy airlift. The Kennedy and Boya partnerships will also strengthen connection between American and Kenyan universities and include two-way exchanges of our faculty and researchers working in STEM fields. As you can hear, the U.S. government is incredibly proud of all of these past, present, and future exchanges and partnerships between Kenyan and U.S. institutions of higher education. The United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, continues this legacy of partnership. USAID has long driven innovative exchanges for students and faculty at thousands of universities and colleges around the world. In Kenya, we continue to see incredible partnership opportunities that harness the power of our shared diversity and the unique strengths of both Kenyan and American cultures. For example, since 2015, USAID has partnered with Kenyatta University to train well over 5,400 young people through the Young African Leaders, Leaders Initiative, also known as YALI. I am also excited to announce today that with one million from the U.S. government's Digital Transformation for Africa initiative, two new special groups for YALI will be launched in partnership with Dedan Kamati University of Technology in Kenya and Semiconductor Technologies Limited. A cutting edge... <laughs> a cutting edge Kenyan semiconductor manufacturer this partnership will offer training and transformation grants for young people working in emerging technologies and prepare them for the jobs of tomorrow.